Now, you know, if you are watching this video, then the YouTube algorithm will obviously recommend you similar videos. Reason being because it's a very popular topic. Okay. And clickbaits give you a lot of money. The, the YouTubers, we get a lot of money out of the clickbaits or whatever. So, so how do you identify which college roadmap video is great? How do you identify which college roadmap video is legit and which is not just for views? You go to the LinkedIn profile of the person who is making that video. If the video is titled like this video is saying first year roadmap, you go to that person's profile, go to their LinkedIn experience section and see what they have done in their first year or second year or whatever. If you don't find anything, it means they themselves did not do anything in their first year and they're guiding you. Ignore. Move on. Same thing with me. If you are new to the channel, if you don't know me, go to my LinkedIn profile. Check out all the things I did in my, in my first year. If you feel like that's you know not good, you don't have to watch this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this is the most requested one. So like you all requested, I'm starting a video series. So I will make like four to five videos on what you have to do in every college. So this is the first video of that series. And um, please listen carefully because I've structured it in a, in a, in a way that would make it easy for you to navigate, you know, whatever questions you may have or whatever. So I'll do the first video on what do you need to do in first year, second year, third year, fourth year of college, and then for pass outs as well. Point number one, this is not just for BTEC students or folks who are in the four years degree, BCA, BSc, people who are from non-tech, not CSE, who want to get into tech, they can also follow it. Point number three, it's for uh, off-campus uh, approaches. So I'll be sharing this on the basis of like how to grow as and how to utilize your college years um, and, you know, shine when it comes to off-campus. So students who don't get on-campus opportunities can definitely follow these roadmaps of this series. Okay. And uh, the last point is how are we structuring these videos? So every video I'll be dividing into a few segments for every year. So I'll be dividing every video in like what all the things you should learn, like what the learning approach should be, what all experiences you should have in that college year and how to prepare for the future. In addition to that, what if, so if I make the video of, let's say what to do in your third year of college. Okay. So I'll share about the learning approaches. I'll share what experience you should have, what things to keep in mind and things like that, how you can prepare for the future meaning for the fourth year and I will have a special special section for students who are in their let's say third year who have not done anything in first year and second year okay in this video we're starting with first year in itself so make sure you like share subscribe check out the links in the description below comment down below if this video you know gets a nice little reach i'll make other videos obviously i'll make another one because you know i've said it in this video and um but if it gets good reach i'll make it faster <laughs> all right so um, let's get started learning approaches when it comes to first year. So I'm not talking about like, um, you know, just, uh, you have to be from a CS background or whatever. That's not true. Um, anyone can follow this as I mentioned previously. So learning approaches. So first year is for exploration. Okay. And I'll also share in these videos mistakes to avoid. Okay. First year is for exploration and explore. What do you mean by explore? Kunal. So you are in your first year. I would recommend start with research algorithms i have a great course you can check out the link in the description below start with research algorithms you have in your first semester starting with dsa doing entire first semester or two three months in dsa that's it once you've done all the dsa and everything you know the basic fundamentals and you have done some questions till you get a job till you get a job third year fourth year till whenever you want to get you get a job practice data structures algorithms a little by little regularly dsa sorted okay Point number two, once your DSA is done after two, three months, like you are in your second semester now, try to get some hands-on experience with development. This can be anything, uh, development, mobile development, um, you know, um, uh, machine learning and uh, AR and VR or whatever, uh, you know, blockchain or um, even into like uh, systems and DevOps related things or whatever. Okay. Just get, just get some experience, try out various things know everything about something, something about everything, pie shape learning. Don't try to be an expert in any of these in your first year. Just explore, have fun, make projects and all these other things. And that's it. If you get time, 
at the end around you have when you have some development experience contribute to open source start contributing to open source you will find the projects that you like or whatever I've done videos on open source already so i learned i talked about first year learning approaches dsa and then get a hint get a feeling for development okay cool that was about the learning approaches experiences so experiences um okay many many students are very eager to get internships in first year second year don't do it okay at least in first year don't have to do an internship if you're getting a great internship go for it great internships are ones that are you know paying good the way you're getting to learn something new getting to add something on your resume not just doing it for the sake of the certificate don't do that okay so experiences related to that well how can we utilize all these things then how do i put it on my resume you can contribute to open source you can go to hackathons you can take part in student programs and you can take part in uh, open source programs also and internship alternatives like google summer of code ml fellowship and things like that so a few videos i would recommend for the experiences and guidance part for this is the number one is 10 mistakes to avoid on my channel this is the video that i'm going to share with you so you can go to the open source cafe playlist podcast on my channel with engineers from facebook and other big tech companies who have vast amount of experience i have made a video called 10 mistakes to avoid as a student when learning to code watch that video please if you are also not from first year second year or third year whatever please watch that video i am not the one speaking in that those engineers those people are speaking in that if you don't trust me that's okay but those people are like really you know next level okay that's one video you need to watch second video you need to watch is how students get scammed in india so what i would recommend is that uh, go how, kunal how will find this video go to the my experiences playlist or you can just do a google search as well or youtube search how students get scammed in india because these scams are happening mostly targeting first year students so you will get saved if you watch that video okay watch these two videos apart from that let's talk a little bit more about experiences so build your network and learn in public so as i mentioned first year is all about learning exploring then don't just do it by yourself don't do it alone do it in a community with your friends why could not well, this will help you in like meeting people around the world you will not feel alone if you get stuck someone will help you and when it comes to communities get involved in global communities communities that are active around the world you can definitely get involved in like college level communities as well and local local communities as well but try to stay away from um, in india i've seen this a lot there's a lot of um, politics in communities okay that's why i recommend global communities that be active in global communities so please make sure you watch the how to not get scammed in india there i have mentioned other things like how to not you know just follow one person and sorry internship you say that okay again? my Bye. city went off no way so how do you know stay focused and all these other things like unpaid internship paying for internships so obviously these are important things to mention in this video but i am already linking this video to that another video so please watch that another video i'll also leave the link in the description below of these videos that i'm talking about okay so you can check out the link in the description as well okay so uh, apart from experiences last thing i was mentioning was build your profile be active on twitter linkedin uh, github even your personal projects active on github if you can start content creation that'd be also pretty cool video you can make you can create your own youtube channel that's great um blogging is great so just you know build experiences and have your personal brand and reach out to people around the world attend conferences go to meetups conferences and events and things like that so much to do first year will go by like that okay plenty to do okay cool um the next thing is uh just one more point that i would like to mention now the preparing for the future part don't have to worry about it that much first year is very chill you have to just focus on learning build your profile uh future will become good automatically okay don't worry about that i don't have any pointers as such about preparing for future or whatever in first year just do these things that i said more than enough okay cool and if there are any new things that you might have to do that are important then you will automatically figure it out because i have mentioned explore talk to other people people who are active globally okay not influencers in in india only no global people who are active globally around the world okay because that way you will not get scammed please watch my 
uh, the how to not get scammed 10 ways people get scammed in india video that will help you um so that's it uh you learning your experiences part is covered um mistakes to avoid have has been covered because i linked two videos one with uh, the facebook uh, meta folks that i did a podcast and how to not get scammed so mistakes to avoid also covered and there was one more thing which was about college attendance and first year students have uh, such subjects that are like really not interested to them like manufacturing or whatever i would say do some jugad okay if you're from india you already are familiar with this word um i am not saying college subjects are not important like operating system compile design you know networking dsa design analysis of algorithms and all these other things are important um, but the thing is how i approached this is i was not waiting i'm not saying oh let's say for example if in my 6th semester i'm getting operating system i will study it in 6th semester only no i will study it whenever i want okay so don't be like don't go to the college curriculum now the another point i would like to make is if your college is great which i'm sure it's not if you're watching this video so if your college is great in india and if the teachers are teaching in an amazing way right and if you feel like you're getting value then obviously go attend lectures and do all the things and everything if you feel like you are attending lectures and you're not getting any value you are just copy pasting assignments you're copy pasting lab files do jugad try to waste as little time as possible when it comes to such things not just college anywhere in the world where you feel like you are not getting value or your time is being wasted stay away from it do some jugards is what i would highly recommend um that was about it and about 75 attendance criteria see depends on college to college you would have to do some jugards again you would have to work hard you would have to do something okay um try to make the most out of the situation okay stop complaining and start working hard even if you're attending college 75% then also time then also you have a lot of time left okay so that's basically about it just one last thing tier 3 first year students are the most vulnerable to scams the most vulnerable to scams why because they have just failed je they have you know very upset oh what a bad college i got into all these bhaiyas all these everyone influencer will target you like psh. best thing would be don't take guidance on youtube that, i know that's a little bit controversial you know does it mean that we should not watch your videos only your guidance videos yeah yeah i i know i know why i'm saying that because even though i know i'm amazing but um the amount of good things that i can provide you that is very little as compared to the cancer that is is in the youtube community so in total if you stay away that's great <laughs> so take guidance from folks who are active in open source and such people will have their own youtube channel okay so if you find some great person in open source like if i'm talking about devops you'll find someone great in the open source community like sayam okay and then you see sayam has a youtube channel that is good okay so that is how you should approach youtube channels not going to youtube first no that way you will get scamsters okay so that's it that's what you should do in first year explore and have fun and learn build your portfolio um be safe first year you don't have any experience you don't know anything you will get scammed 100% um so be safe very important that's it and thanks a lot for watching make sure you like share and subscribe comment uh, down below and um i'll make uh, other videos check out the links in the description below if you're new to the community community classroom cube world my socials as well And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and share with your friends. It will help them. And uh, in the next one, we'll talk about second year, third year, fourth year, and um, pass outs. Thanks so much.